Well, good morning. Guess what day it is? It's Friday. And guess who knows it's Friday? Me. I don't usually know what day it is, but today, but today I knew because I'm smart. And I didn't just look at my phone to double check. Honest. Anyway, straight into the meat and potatoes as we've got a little bit to cover. But look, what I will be doing later is a live where we will be looking over a lot of the Jessica Reed Kraus stuff. For those of you who are unaware who Jessica is, she is someone who looks into stuff and she does a lot of writing on different cases over on House in Habit and she has various other social media platforms and it's very interesting some of the things she talks about. And we'll be having a bit of a catch up from my recent beautiful trip to the UK version of Florida. So anyway, yes, as I said, into the meat and potatoes. So there is new documentation that's come out regarding searches. I say searches. The media, um, the the social media activity, the the Google accounts and all of the phones. And Jewels of All Trades goes over that quite in depth i'm not going to do that because i think that she should get some of the glory as she touches on some things but mainly pay close attention to the dates now we saw a lot about moscow pd and how they dealt with a lot of things but they didn't really like doing the paperwork side of things their their reports were scarce at best and we also questioned a couple of months ago or so about the search for the the weapon itself and the fact that there was a place not far from this that sold these weapons and they had not even been approached so we did sort of wonder how well they were searched we've also heard from dave who lived a stone throw away and could see the house and they weren't even checked they weren't even spoken to ever at all And now we're seeing these searches that would appear that it took them some time to ask for the information. And then once they had it, it took them more time to even look at it, to find out exactly what they had. And it makes you wonder as to why they didn't really want to get straight on it. Because I would. I'd I'd be chomping at the bit, so to speak. Now, what else am I going to be talking about? Now, I'm going to be talking about Sleuthy Goosey. For those of you who do not know who Sleuthy Goosey is, she is predominantly on Twitter. She is a sleuthy, and she looks into stuff, like Jessica. And she comes up with some interesting things that you guys need to watch. And there's a link in the description of this video, and you need to go on what you need. And when I say need, I don't mean have a look at it if you feel like it don't do a moscow pd you know chomp at the bit get but not now me important that is important but not as important as me speaking so after this go look you won't be disappointed unless you're a i hate coburger he definitely did this then you might not be very happy about it because what does it do it dispels quite a lot of the media driven rumor that brian koberger is this psychotic incel ex-bullied woman hate and cannibal that's right it's even said at one point that he's a cannibal yeah he could have gone into cannibalism because he's got some sort of meat problem so what does this say? I'm not gonna, like I say, I'm not going to ruin it for you. It's, you know, I'm not going to give you a film to watch and then tell you how it all ends. But let's just say that it does go completely against the media-driven narrative. And like I say, people aren't going to like it because it does talk about the fact that a lot of what we're hearing, a lot of what we're seeing, a lot of what is being sort of used to form form this picture of this person. And a lot of what people's foundation for believing that Brian Koberger is indeed the guy who did this kind of melts away. And when you've got a guy who was a certain way 
it can make everything else seem a lot more believable and when you listen to people in the comments and you see why they're supportive of the fact he did this you can see strongly that a lot of what they're basing that on is what has been said by the likes of News Nation, you know, Ashley Bamfield and uh, of a lunatic, whatever her name is, oh, Grace, Grace, something. Oh, I can't, Nan, Nancy Grace. See, I can't even remember her name. But yeah, she's a lunatic. All of these people who seem hell bent on kind of pushing a specific person forward and it makes it very easy very palatable to 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 go along with it but watch this video but that is about it there isn't a lot of new news out there is little things coming out we did touch on the fact that there is this caller and look i just want to address this quickly because some people are saying look i listened to this video and what this person was saying seemed incredibly plausible same very plausible and it's not plausibility that you're listening to this is familiarity because this call did nothing but repeat things that have already been said already been covered multiple multiple times so when you're listening to something you think oh what he's saying makes a lot of sense it's not that it makes a lot of sense. You've just heard it before and it's just something that you probably thought, mm, that, that actually sounds like that could be. And now you've got this new person coming forward and he's been framed as, and I don't mean framed like Koberger, Freudian slip. I mean, you know, he's been pictured as this person who's come forward with this new information. He knows stuff and that changes things slightly. He then repeats everything that's been said previously and everyone falls for it as some sort of recollection or recount of of facts and it's not it's not fact it's just repeating what he said and she said and they said and that other person said definitely weren't the case but anyway tonight live i'm going to do it later so it's more uncomfortable for me and it's less comfortable for you because i'm a nice person and like i say we'll catch up We'll have a chat. But until then, you know what you've got to do. Head over to Jewels of All Trades and tell me what you think about the times involved in these searches and how on the ball they were. And Sleuthy, go and check. And let me know what you think of the new interview that points towards the fact that perhaps, perhaps, Brian Koberger just ain't who everybody thinks he is. And I'll catch you all in the next one.